Claire from Creative Yotale. I'm an independent demonstrator for Stamping Up in the UK. Thank you for joining me. What have I got for you today? A bit of a wow card. Yeah, it is a wow card. It's an old um, pattern or design really that's been around uh, a long time with four panels. But I just jazzed it up a bit with some of the new DSP. It's pretty chilly and frosty here today where I live down on the Kent coast and yeah I felt like we needed some sunshine so that's what we're going to do. Um, obviously there's a new catalogue out you may or may not know and there's a celebration brochure as well that you can earn several of the items for free and I've used a, a, something from both catalogues. Um, if you're in the UK and particularly if you're in Kent um, just get in touch, look for me, Creative the Ottawa. And if you're anywhere else in the world, have a look at Stamping Up Demonstrators near you. It's a wonderful community, perfect for any crafter. It's, it's more like a family, really. I really, really love it. So, shall I show you what we're making? So, here's one that I've made with um, some patterned paper from the main catalogue. I think it is called patterned actually um, something patterned I can't remember but there's the belly band that goes around I've used um, the stitched blooms as well and it's four panels because you've got this front panel um, obviously the belly band gives you the sentiment on the front then you open it to the next one and the next two how beautiful is that so you've got a really lovely card that will stand and folds flat for posting. It really is a bit of a wow, isn't it? So what are we using for today's version? So I'm going to put this here while I chat about what we're using. So in the new mini catalogue, there's a really lovely set called Rainbow of Happiness. Um, lots of nice stamps, some sentiments, even a curved sentiment, sentiment there that's really nice. And then there's also some dies. So I think I will probably do something with the front here. Maybe use that die there with a few clouds instead of this um, Stitch So Sweetly die that I used here. Um, the Stitch So Sweetly dies come in a whole set here. So you get, a, this is all one set, so it's a real bargain. You get all of these and they layer so well together. Um, I use this all the time with my um, cards and my scrapbooking and all sorts. So like I said, I'll probably swap this white bit here for this piece here. But we'll talk about that at the end if there's time. So because I've gone for the Rainbow of Hearts set, which I'm going to use a little bit, I've actually gone for the celebration paper, the sunshine and rainbows. Now it is absolutely stunning. There's so many different patterns, so many. And then of course, not only have they got they one-sided, Stampin' Up paper is always two-sided. So you've got a real mix of colours that coordinate. Um, Stampin' Up are absolutely amazing for their coordination. It makes my crafting life and yours so easy. So uh, once you've gone through and picked four colours, bearing in mind, I'll bring that one back, that you're going to see a little bit of three of them all the time. So you want ones that really go together. So say like that one and that one and then have a different contrast as well or pick out a pink like that but you can see how well they coordinate and no matter which I choose let's choose another one let's turn it over and choose that side so if I chose that one for instance the pink's still going to go or the melon mambo um, even the clouds are still going to go it all matches and then the card stop matches as well um, and away you go so let's get crafting move all of those out of the way so i have already picked my colors and i've already cut the rectangles out um, this is the hardest bit i think of crafting choosing the papers because because they're two-sided i like both sides 
but I've decided the largest rectangle is going to be that, then that one, then that one, and then these. So I think they go really well together. Um, I like the way that you're going to see the stripe around the corner of the card. So on this bit here, you're going to see the stripes going down. So when you're cutting your paper, think about that as well. Sorry, I'm giving you loads of things to think about, aren't I? So I will give you those sizes in a minute. Um, I've layered it with white card again, and I've already cut the pieces that I need from the stitch so sweetly, and I need a strip for a belly band, which is three quarters of an inch. And they're my bits I'm gonna to put to one side. Let's start with the base card. So what I did was I chose my paper, and then in your DSP, it, there's always a piece like this, whether it's 12 by 12 or six by six, and it's always listed which colors are in the paper. So I picked my papers, looked through the list of colors and picked one that matches or that coordinates. And I've gone for Bermuda Bay. So I really like Bermuda Bay, but I very rarely use it. So this is an opportunity for me to use it. And as you're trying to think of sunshiny weather rather than this chilly weather, it's perfect. So the first thing we're going to do is take your A4 card, turn it to the short end, and we're going to cut it right down at five and a half inches. So you need your cutting blade, five and a half. Now this bit you're going to need in a minute, so don't put it too far out of sight. Then the piece that you've cut, you're going to turn around long ways and you're cutting it at 11 and a half. Okay, so that should give you a tiny, tiny sliver. Let's move that over. 11 and a half that you're cutting off. So just that tiny sliver like that. We don't need that, so you can bin that straight away. Now on the same side, so on this long side that you've now got, you're going to need to score. So there's three score lines and the first one is just a quarter of an inch. Now if I put my card through this way, I'm really struggling to find the quarter of an inch and hold on to the paper. So what I do is turn it round and you've got about one and a half inches on this side. So I find a quarter of an inch because that gives me somewhere to place my hand. Let me just double check my quarter of an inch. And get rid of that cutting blade and you're going to score at a quarter of an inch. So can you see how thin that is? Now the, nut, the next two score lines I need to do right. So I'm going to turn it back round so my quarter of an inch is now on this side. And the next score line is three and three quarters. So three and three quarters, and then the last one is seven and a quarter. Okay, so just like that. So you should have three score lines that you can see. Now the piece that's got the quarter of an inch score line, you want that at the top of your cutting mat, okay, or your cutting um, tool, and you are going to cut a piece off this side and it's going to be at five on one eighths but you're not going to cut the whole length you're just going to cut to this very bottom score line so this bit stays whole but this bit has a strip taken off the end so if you place it at five and one eighth get your cutting blade I think I'm actually off screen so I'm just going to move that up a bit there's a little mark on the side of your cutting blade. So if you place that where your score line is and then cut up. Oh, did I do that five and one eighth? Let's have a look. So I think I moved it. That'll be fine. So you're left with this bit here. Okay, and I'm just gonna cut that off now. So I've got some here and I'm just going to cut down there try not to pull your card because it leaves a little bit of a 
like a thread you know if you do sewing and you leave a little bit of a thread behind always cut don't pull okay so you end up with that bit that's cut off okay and you don't need that so you can get rid of that now what you're going to do is turn it sideways fold it that way fold it that way and fold this one over and just burnish it that tiny little fold turn the card to where you're comfortable and just press down and get a really nice crease on there and just burnish your other creases as well okay so you end up with that sort of stuff okay so this is going to be your front and this is going to be the inside okay now we put that to one side the piece that you cut off remember that long piece there you need to cut a section off to go on the front of here now this should already be the right size so it should be two and three quarters which it is and you're going to cut it on the long part at four and a half so just cut that piece off that bit you're not going to use you can use to make your belly band layers for the front put that to one side this is the bit we want and we're nearly done so this now goes on to here okay now don't worry about this little bit here at the minute we're just going to put some glue i'm going to put that along there because i don't want to put glue on the top bit right where did i put the glue there. let's hope there's some in here the old glue fairy oh look at that first time da, 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 da. okay so what i'm gonna do is join that to there and just make sure i've got that edge and then i'm just gonna press down and hold it in place just make sure that it's not overlapping okay and that is your four panel card one two three four now i'm just going to get rid of this bit here so again i'm just going to open it out and i'm just going to trim it off so again you're not going to pull it you're going to cut see because of the shadow of the scissors that's the only trouble filming in the evening okay just going to make sure what that is there you go so that's my four panels and now i just need to decorate it so thinking about the layers like i say i've already pre-cut these so i'm going to go through them with you now the first two panels this one and these you need exactly the same size and what i'm going to do is do the white card first because i've decided to layer mine in white card and i put that on I'll do it that way you can see now on this one i've just gone one of one eighth of an inch smaller whereas on my other one i did a quarter of an inch smaller just to show you the different contrast but i want a smaller panel on this one so i'll give you the sizes for this one and you can work it out so this one the small panel of card is two and five eighths by four and three eighths so i'm just going to stick that on so you need a panel for the front two and five eighths by four and three eighths so that's that. Can you see it leaves that really nice one eighth of an inch border? And I'm going to do put the inside on at the same time. Just put some glue on there. So that's the inside, and then it covers up that join that you made. Okay, like so. The next size, so you fold it back how it's meant to be the next size is the middle panel and again you need two one for the front and one for the what well, it looks like back but it's the inside now this needs to be three and three eighths by five okay 
right, so we just stick those on. Three of the eights by five. Then again, you just want to leave a board around like that. And then this side. Okay. Just making sure that's right. And then the back panel. So I just put a panel on here. You could put um, a piece on the back for your personal message, but I tend to put it on the inside. Um, I'll show you how I do that in a moment. So that's five and three eighths by four. That doesn't sound right, actually. Let me measure that in a minute for you because I feel like I've written that down wrong. Because the last one I said was five, didn't I? Okay, let's measure that. So this one three and seven apes three and seven apes by five and three apes. So five and three apes by three and seven apes. Let's just change that on my card. Three and seven apes. Okay. Let me check this one for you while we're here. Three and three eighths, that's what I said, by five, so that's right. So let me run through those again. Two and five eighths by four and three eighths. Three and three eighths by five. Five and three eighths by three and seven eighths. And then we're going to put the layers of the DSP on the top. So again, this is just an eighth of an inch smaller. Can you see the border that's around it? So this is two and four eighths by four and two eighths. And you need two of these. Okay, and I've chosen to do them both the same pattern because one is on the outside, like so, and one is on the inside. So one will always be on the outside. So that's why I've chosen to do them the same. I really like this lovely, vibrant paper. Really nice. I like a bit of spot. And then the rainbows just actually lift your spirit when you look at them, don't they? So the next one, the size of this one, is three and two eighths by four and seven eighths, so it's an eighth of an inch smaller. I think this is the first time I've not gone, oh, should we use the other side of the paper? I'm just going for it. Trying not to think about it too much and just sticking it down. Make sure your rainbow's around the right way. Oh, actually, I think I want that on the inside. I do. I need to think about that. So, so that this one is there. Okay, let's put some glue on this one. So this is the same size. So again, that's three and two eighths by four and seven eighths. Now I've made my paper sticky, haven't I? Hang on. Oh, God, just saved it. Is my card going to stick though? And then the last piece on the back here that I've deliberately cut this way around so that I get the rainbow down the edge. That is five and two eighths by three or oh, three and six eighths. Do I need to check that fits before I do it? Yeah, that's good thinking, Claire. So three and six eighths. So I need to cut a bit off of it. You let's check it before I stick it. Yep. Brilliant. Oh, I'm sad about covering up the love hearts now, but 
I've seen them on that side. That's one of my favourite ones. Did you see the Otter card I made last week? That was with the Love Hearts. Really like that paper. Okay. So now, when I close it, it looks like that. But when I open it, you've got four different colours. Okay. So, what's next? I've got my belly band to go round. Um, this is three quarters of an inch and it's just the whole length of an A4 and I don't do anything else other than fold it round like so and then glue it in place. I'm just going to cut that across there so that the join is behind my um, stitch so sweetly dies that I'm putting over the top. So that is going to go like that. Okay, and then I've got some dimensionals to put on there. Just make sure that that's tight around there. Oh. And the next bit's going to go on the top is this piece here. Okay, and then I'm going to die cut the ribbon, uh, the rainbow tag from the die cut set. But that is where that will go on the top of there. Okay, and then on the inside, you can decorate it as much or as little as you want. So the front obviously has the belly band. And the next bit, I'm going to put this one on there. And I'm going to go through my stamps and find something that fits perfectly in there. And then this one is going to have that. And you can place that in the middle and it will be covered. And that... Is oh, if we can make sure that that goes over a bit so you can't see it, and that's our make. So I will finish that off because you don't want to watch me doing that. Bring back the one that we made earlier. Whoops, dropping everything now. Which one do you prefer? The new Rainbow DSP, this pretty patterned paper with the stitch blooms. I need to put a rainbow on the front of that as well, don't I? So thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I try, like to keep my videos short and just go straight to the make. Um, if you like what you've seen, please subscribe and I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks for watching. Bye.